Gauteng Education MEC Matume Chilwane says the Gauteng Education Department receives about 30,000 new learners annually from other provinces. He says they've processed 99.8% of the 270,000 complete applications received this year and are now prioritizing the 32,000 incomplete applications. According to Chilwane, it's difficult to plan for the annual learner intake as most parents want their children to benefit from the quality education offered in Gauteng. In terms of the growing system, it's, 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 it's not our, our choice. Uh, the, we, we, let's say we are a victim of our own success. You know, when you have a growing, a growing economy, uh, you're providing good uh, quality education, obviously parents would want to bring their children to that province. Uh, so we, we, we are doing well and everybody wants to bring their kids here. So it's, it's, it's something that we can't, we can't stop. And we can't, it's very difficult to plan. Chilwani says the 2023 National Senior Certificate exams are going smoothly and there's been only a few undesirable incidents. The only thing that was there were about 51 overall irregularities that occurred, of which 45, were learners, 45 of them were 45 learners caught with crib notes. Uh, trying to copy, and then we had five learners who were, were in possession of cell phones, uh, and then we had one imposter uh, trying to write an examination on behalf of. So that shows that uh, our investigators were vigilant. The MEC told the media his department has a database of over 60,000 unemployed teachers on standby to capacitate overburdened Houting schools next year. He has also urged communities to help safeguard schools as they've often targeted by vandals during the festive season school break. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Midrand.